six or seven months, both the young men and the brothers created a place that had to become home in a new way for each other. Let us remember that we're the holy presence of God. For us, that means gathering together for prayer, social dinner, and building connections amongst ourselves to stay present. With Keeping healthy during this difficult time is a bit of a challenge, but uh, the community has all this great equipment, and uh, sometimes it's a bit of a challenge to get up out of the soft chair down here, but it's so well worth it. Or although I never feel bored, I, I, I do a lot of reading, I, I watch TV. I started working on stained glass a number of years ago. Uh, this one particular one was the, uh, one of the last ones I did. I decided on a, a cross in the center and run it down the uh, colors of the rainbow. Simple flowers, I try to do something different by going beyond just a square or a rectangular shape. Hello everyone, it's Kirsten Quarles. I just want to start by saying when I first got here, I was extremely nervous. My family was like, this girl must be crazy. Um, but i fallen in love with where I am and the people that I'm around, and they have really truly become part of my family. And every day I know that I'm becoming a part of theirs. On our cap day, we had some substantial discussions using the General Council document reimagining our life as brothers. We decided as a community to take three concrete steps to call ourselves to simplicity. The first step was to authorize that funds be taken from our savings account and be given to the family members of some brothers suffering economic hardship. Second point, three brothers committed to donate part of their monthly stipend in order to assist some families of Ocean Tide's boys. And third, the community decided to examine its yearly budget and to find ways to tithe 5%. Those monies would be used for uh, things like the San Miguel School um, and local food pantries. We found that our uh, uh, discussions that had used the reimagining life as a brother were uh, invigorating. We're excited about this upcoming year and look forward to when we can finally have you here in Narragansett. I like living in Narragansett. Uh, I'm not a beach person, never have been because I always burn.